Good evening. My name is Matt Tady, and I will be graduating from Drexel. Next year, I'll be starting my PhD program at Northeastern in Boston. While my time here at GCC may have been shorter than most, God has used this church to bless me in unimaginable ways, and I have been changed forever by this incredible community, powerful worship, and great teaching. As I sat down to write this testimony, I felt much like the writer of Hebrews, who says in chapter 11, and what more shall I say? For time would fail to tell me of Gideon, Barak, Samson, Jephthah, of David and Samuel and the prophets, who through faith conquered kingdoms, enforced justice, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched the power of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, were made strong out of weakness, became mighty in war, and put foreign armies to flight. I cannot possibly share of all the things that I've learned here in such a short period of time. And so when I thought about the most important thing that God has taught me, it became obvious. Although I have struggled with a lot of things and continue to do so to this day, the biggest impediment to my relationship with Jesus and the others was my lack of love. Ever since I was a young child, I knew intellectually all of the things of God and about his character from the Bible, but it was extremely difficult for me to truly believe that the God of the universe, the creator of the sun, the moon, the stars, the galaxies, and the oceans could actually love me because I never loved myself. Eventually, I came to realize that God's love is the most powerful force in the world and that it is stronger than my own doubts, fears, and insecurities. After this revelation, I was able to accept Jesus as the Lord and Savior of my life. When I first joined GCC, I was finally able to believe that God loved me, but it was still incredibly difficult for me to love the others. I was selfish, bitter, jealous, and full of pride, and I compared myself to everybody that I met. I was extremely difficult to get along with and would argue tirelessly with people over my views and opinions, always trying to prove that my way was the best way. However, God gifted me with two brothers in this church who fundamentally changed the way that I view the world and God's plan for me. God was able to tear down the bitterness, coldness, and apathy I had towards the others by breaking my heart for them. As I interacted with them, I was able to truly love people for the first time in my life, and it's because of the love that I have for them that I understand the love that Christ has for me. Paul writes in 1 Corinthians, If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. God used these two brothers at this church to show me that it doesn't matter how much knowledge I have or if I am right about everything, if I do not love people the way that God loves us. It is now because of this love that the grace of Christ is so real to me that I feel like I can reach out and grab it. And it is because of this love, the desire to serve and glorify God has become the most important calling in my life. Thank you.